Okay, the next thing I want to do is add a video to this layout. And so what I'm going to do is placing a video is just like placing a photograph. We're going to go up to File and we're going to go down to Place. We're going to look for the video in our thaw space. I found the video here and then I'm just going to open it. And you get a loaded icon. Uh, just like when you're placing a photograph and so I'm just going to click and let go and the video now comes in at the actual size that it was um, saved as. Now obviously this video is too big we're going to put it right down here so I'm going to hold the command and shift key down grab a corner and size it down proportionally. Okay, Very important that you hold the command and shift key down because you don't want to throw this out of proportion. Now I'm going to grab the video and just kind of place it in the area that it's going to go into. It's a little bit too big, so again, Command Shift, and this time I will size it down just a little bit smaller. Okay, so now the video is placed, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go and open our media panel. So we're going to go over to the right here where it says Media. Uh, I'm going to click on that, and with the video selected, you can see that if I play it, um, you'll see how it plays okay but right now the video is represented as just black and so what we want to do is first of all when you hit the page we want it to play so we're going to click play on page load and we want something in here so that people can recognize it as a video so that's called the poster frame and we're going to grab a poster from the current frame. If you look you have different, you can choose an image um, but we're going to grab a, a current frame from the video. So with this selected now as I move this I can see different frames in the video and let's say I want um, a poster, maybe, maybe I want this as the poster frame, okay? So I um, find it here and then I hit refresh and it will change down here, okay? So if I hit refresh now you can see that the poster frame down here has changed and that's what people are going to see when the page loads. Uh, another thing I want to happen is I want the controller to be uh, visible when you roll over the video. You'll see a controller allowing you to stop, play, pause, etc. So I'm going to go to controller here and I'm going to choose the um, skin over all no caption. Okay, there's various ones you can experiment with, but that's the one I'm going to uh, uh, choose. And then I'm going to check Show Controller on Rollover. Okay, so when you roll over, um, you'll be able to see the controller. Now, if you notice, in this view right here, in this layout view, if I um, roll over, nothing happens. The video doesn't play. I don't see the controller. The only way you can see this work is if you preview it. Okay, so we're going to preview, and we know preview is Command, Shift, and Enter. So I'm going to do Command, Shift, and then hit Enter, and now I'm going to get the preview. Okay, the preview comes on, the page builds, text comes out, we saw the poster frame, and now we see the video playing. Okay, and that's how you place a video in InDesign. Okay, when I roll over, we see the controller. I can stop, pause, and so forth. In the next video, what we're going to learn how to do is set navigation points. These are navigation points here, which will allow us to jump to certain parts of the video.